about two years ago, our um, daughter started to um, unravel. We couldn't understand what was going on. She was always an amazing, she still is an amazing, amazing girl. She's the youngest. All of our children were firmly in the paths of uh, Hashem and Torah and Mitzvot and everything good. And she just started to unravel. And it was the unraveling was very, very quick. Um, she dropped out of school. She was obviously in a lot of pain. She was up the entire night. She was pacing in her room. It literally sounded like a caged tiger, just rumbling back and forth all night. I would wake up early in the morning and she would still be walking back and forth from the night before. Can you imagine the pain? It's unbelievable pain. She would sneak out in the middle of the night and by herself in the rain, without the rain. She would walk for miles. She was just in unfathomable, constant pain. My wife and I, we didn't know where to go. We didn't know what to do. We started going the conventional way. We spoke to Rabbanim. We spoke to therapists. We went to psychiatrists. Unfortunately, with zero to, to very little success, um, they really don't understand it well. I think that they're understanding it more and more. But right, when we were there a year and a half ago, uh, we were not getting the right advice. They put her on medications, which she did not need. Um, she was smoking. She was drinking. Um, it was a very bad situation. Um, Baruch Hashem, it didn't take us too long to find Avi. Uh, several, maybe months later, a couple of months later, we started to discover Avi on the Internet. And I remember our first conversation with him. And we told him that our daughter experienced the trauma in our house. And he said, I normally do not give advice before you're fully signed up to the program. But I will tell you that as long as you will stay in that house, she cannot heal. With the trauma that happened in that house, she cannot heal. So uh, my wife and I agreed immediately to sell our house. Um, we have very strong community ties. My chabutot, my friends, my everything is in where I was, we picked up and we moved to another state because it was good for her. And ever since then, we have not looked back. We have been doing everything humanly possible and maybe beyond to help our daughter and to do what Avi suggests because I truly believe it's the only thing that works. Like Avi says, the cure to pain is pleasure. And we see that that helps tremendously. Um, my daughter was running away from us. She hated her parents. She hated her family. She's now on a plane as we speak home. We're going to pick her up at one o'clock in the morning from a flight from Merit Israel. She can't wait to see us. She can't wait to be in our house. She can't wait to hug her parents. Our relationship has gone up I, 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 immeasurable. It's immeasurable from what it was to what it is. We have a beautiful relationship. We speak to her all the time. Um, the gift bombs and the trip bombs are definitely what helped us tremendously. Of course, how we speak to her, how we deal with her on a daily basis, us understanding her situation. Um, you know, my wife and I are not people to really take from other people. But when the choice is to save your daughter's life, you really have no choice. So, you know, I feel like the fund has, you know, a certain amount of money. And, you know, I, 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 I'm so reluctant when I see the numbers going down and it's dwindling. I truly believe that if people realized how this is actually saving lives, the fund wouldn't be looking for $2 million. People should be pouring tens of millions of dollars. There is no better cause. There is no cause that is helping families and children directly from such danger and such peril and saving their lives in every which way, including spiritually. Our daughter is getting closer to us. She's getting closer to Hashem. And it's, it's, it's a long path. It is a long path. And everyone here said it before. And everyone will say the same thing. It's not an instant thing. It takes years. The amount of pain and trauma and suffering that they endured is not a quick fix. But this is the right way. And... I don't know. There's really no words to thank Avi Fishall for what he does. 
I, I really thought after the first conversation I had, I said, he must charge $100,000 to the family. I mean, the truth is that would be a bargain. Hashem should bless him. I, I can't believe that he has to, in addition to what he's doing, be involved in helping other people to collect money so that they could save their children. Hashem should just give him the strength <clears throat> and anyone that can should really give to this cause and should encourage other people to give to this cause because it is truly, truly a life-saving, a life-saving cause. Thank you so much, Avi. I really, really thank you. My wife thanks you from the bottom of her heart. And Bezat Hashem, everyone should see Yeshuaat and we should be able to continue and we shouldn't have to be focused at all on the money because there's so many other things that come into play and money is really the least of it. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity.